when the pandemic started in 2020, I had quite a lot of time on my hands. And I decided to build, I decided to learn how to code, which then gave me the, an idea to help build my first app, Social Squash, because I couldn't find any players to play in the area. When I launched the app, I realized that there were two fundamental differences about building an app and launching an app. Where building an app was the easy, was the easy part, launching the app was fundamentally different. I discussed with Kim Clerken to donate the app to Club Locker, and she put me in contact with Ryan Rayfield. After speaking a few times with Ryan, we decided it was best if I took aspects of my app, Social Squash, and aspects of the Club Locker web app to make a Club Locker mobile. I learned that, um, I really learned how much it takes to get to go, how much work it takes to go into an app and how many revisions it takes to make to the final product. Because I've demoed the app a few times to Ryan and his team, and I've always got what ifs, what if this happens, what if that happens. So I've always thought about that. Like, I didn't really think about that when I, create, when I was creating my first app, Social Squash. I was just like, oh, this, this works. Let's just put it in there. But, with, uh, but when talking to Ryan and his team, he made me think deeper about the cases of what if this happens, what if that happens. Our app, Cloud Blocker Mobile, really has to have, have a solution to all those what if problems. Working with Club Blocker has given me invaluable experience of what um, working within a tech startup is like. And over the past nine months, I've enjoyed working with them and enjoyed building Club Blocker Mobile. I feel club locker and technology will help develop the, develop the sport by uniting the community onto one common app.